Hello friends, how are you? Today we are going to see how to connect ESP8266 and DHT22 sensor very easy and very quick way. Okay, let me start. First of all, the HT sensor has four pin. Pin number one is the plus five volt or plus three point three volt. Pin number four, uh, ground, and pin number two, the out pin. Okay, no need to connect pin number three. Okay, put your DHT sensor on your test board or on your board or anything. As you can see here, this is the ESP8266. First of all, connect the ground pin. The ground pin. Okay, this is the ground pin here. As you can see, connect the pin number 4 on your DHT. Pin number 4. And the plus C volt on your ESP. Connect it to the pin number 1 on your DHT. This is the pin number one and uh, connect your digital pin two as you can see here on the number two pin of your DHT. Of course you can connect it on any pin you want but I connect your code on your Arduino and now let's move to the Arduino code. No need to write anything. I will provide the Arduino code on the description below. Okay, let's me move. Okay, and now let's move to the Arduino code. First of all, no, no need to write anything. You can simply scroll down and download the code from the description. Okay, first of all, we need to install the DHT library. Go to Sketch, Include Library, and Manage Libraries. Okay, after that, type DHT sensor library. DHT sensor library. Okay, and download this library, this one, this library is already installed on my PC, after that you should download the second library, and simply type ADAFRUIT Unified Sensor Okay. And scroll down and download this this library. Okay, after you download the both libraries, go to code here. First of all, this library this uh, line here to include the library, but attention here, the HT pin 4 that means that the DHT is connected to the pin number 4 but on our ESP8266 pin, pin number 4 means the digital pin number 2 on the ESP if you don't understand why you can simply go to Google and search for uh, the uh, ESP8266 pin out to see and define the DHT with the HT type the HT22 here you can specify the sensor type sensor type the HT22 or the HT11 the H type here you could hear I include the humidity, the temperature in degrees Celsius, and the temperature in degree Fahrenheit. Avoid setup, serial dot begin, and the H dot begin. After that, delay, uh, delay this delay here to, to make the sensor give us the value after uh, 2000 uh, milliseconds. Uh, this means two seconds. First, the DHT, the, the, the temperature C, equal the DHT to the temperature in degrees Celsius, here in degree Fahrenheit, and this to give us the humidity. After that, this, if here, if there is uh, an error reading, it will uh, give you the HT reading failed. After that, print the humidity and print the temperature in degrees Celsius, and print the temperature in Fahrenheit. And now, after, the, after compiling the code, let's see the serial monitor. As you can see here, this is the humidity in the temperature in degrees Celsius and the temperature in degree Fahrenheit. 
Okay, this is the simple way you can, uh, simplest way you can do the project with using the HT sensor. If you have any question or if you face any error, don't forget to put, put a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and like to our channel. And thank you for your watching.